Hey guys, it's Kylie, and in today's video, I'm going to be going through my ultimate Disney bucket list. This video is going to go through everything that's on my Disney-related bucket list and all the things that I'd like to do that are Disney-related. Um, obviously, some of these are going to, it will be years till I get them done, but they're on my to-do list and on my bucket list. Don't forget I'm doing Vlogmas, which means I'm posting a video every single day of December, so definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload. The first thing on my Disney bucket list is to go to every single one of the Disney parks. So that means I want, want to go to Dis Disney World and Disneyland, which I have already done. Um, I wouldn't mind going to Disneyland again. Um, that's definitely on something I want to do. But I want to go to Disneyland Paris, I want to go to Tokyo, I want to go to Hong Kong, and I want to go to Shanghai. Those are my main Disney things, is I want to get to be able to get to every single Disney park. I want to be able to just see them. Um, I want to be able to explore them. They're, I know that each one is so different um, and they're all very different than what I'm used to here um, in say Disney World which is like my main park. Um, so I would love to explore them, love to get to see the, the different attractions that they have at those parks that they don't have at the parks here and just the different castles and the, even like the different merchandise just to see it. I know the quality of merchandise in other places is so different. But just to see those parks, I think would be a great experience and a great way to explore um, different parts of the whole world. Another thing on my Disney bucket list is I would love to do an Adventures by Disney trip. Um, there's plenty that can go go with the other thing and go to the parks. So I think that would be cool to do an Adventures by Disney trip that gets to go to the parks. Or just an Adventures by Disney trip that gets to explore some other part of the world. Um, I think that would be such a cool experience just to explore some more of the world, but through the eyes, still have a dis like still a Disney eyes on it. So it's a little bit more, um, it's a planned vacation, but you still get the Disney um, extra magic to it. The next thing on my Disney bucket list is actually cruise related. I would love to go on an Alaskan cruise or a Mediterranean cruise or one of the cruises that um, is like goes from. Caribbean to um, like the, across the Panama Canal or across um, the Atlantic Ocean. I would love to do one of those cruises too. Um, because of family issues, we weren't able to go on the last the last Alaskan cruise. Um, we had one scheduled, but weren't able to go. So I would love to still get to see Alaska. Definitely on my bucket list to go up there. Um, and I would love to get to see the Mediterranean on a cruise. I think I love Disney cruises. I think they're so much fun. So I, those are definitely on my bucket list. Another thing on my bucket list is to do another run Disney event. I'm not a huge runner, but even just another 5K, I love doing the Frozen 5K. The idea of getting to run through Epcot was so much fun. I mean, it's been um, almost four years since we did it. It was February 15, so um, a little bit under four years since we did that one. I would love to get to do another one. I mean, my schedule doesn't usually work to when they have them, but I would love over time to be able to get to do that as I get older and get to run in Disney again. I think that's such a cool experience. Another thing on my bucket list would, or something that I think would be cool is to either get engaged, married, or honeymoon in Disney World. I will, I always think it's so cute when, to see people getting married, um, either at like the boardwalk or the Grand Floridian. You always see weddings going on. Um, you also seeing people get engaged. I think that's so cool. Um, I definitely something that I would like to happen. Um, and some of my dream, it, my like big dream right now is to get married at Disney World. Um, probably at the board, like the boardwalk by or or at the beach club like that area. Um, I just think it's so pretty right there. The last thing on my Disney bucket list would also be to able to go to the other two Disney hotels. So Disney's Vero Beach and Disney's Hilton Head Island. I think it would be cool to go to, go to um, a hotel that's still Disney related that's not um, at the Disney parks. I love going to Alani, had a great time doing that, would love to go back there too. Um, but being able to explore the other Disney hotels that are not um, on Disney property as on, in at one of the park properties is definitely something I would want to do. Also, it, when I went to Disneyland Paris, I would love to stay at the hotel that's right there um, or stay near there. Those are kind of the thing I want to explore the other Disney hotels that are not just at Walt Disney World or even I'd love to stay at the ones at Disneyland. Um, I know it's a little bit crazy, but I would also love to stay at some of the other hotels at Disney World. I think it would be a little bit ridiculous for me to stay at every single one of them, but to be able to explore, we've only, I've only actually stayed at three of them. We do have a trip, a future trip planning um, that we're going to stay at a different hotel that I have not stayed at yet, but I would love to explore a new hot couple new hotels um, as I get older and just try different um, locations across Disney World and the other Disney hotels and properties across the whole world. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything that's on your Disney bucket list that you want to let me know, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear what's on your Disney themed bucket list. Besides that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!